so we have a question and the question is we have to find the gradient or the slope of a line i told you in my previous video that uh, we will find the gradient or the slope of a line using this formula later so this is uh, the video in which we will be finding slope or gradient by using a formula uh, the question is we have been given two coordinates the first one is p that is 2 and 9 and the second one is q that is 4 and 6 uh, these are the values of x and y abscissa and ordinate of my first point and abscissa and ordinate of my second point uh, what i will do is that i will write those two points over here p point is 2 and 9 and q point is 4 and 6 after writing these two points i will name them i will name the first x value of my first point is x1 and the value of y of my first point is y1 uh, similarly the value of x of the second point will be x2 and the value of y of the second point will be y2 and since i know that gradient or slope is denoted by m so i will write the formula m is equals to y will come in the numerator y2 minus y1 will come in the numerator and x2 minus x1 will come in the denominator this is the only thing you have to remember because this is a very simple formula uh, m is equals to y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 this is my formula i have the values of x1 y1 x2 and y2 over here i will just replace them in this formula y2 is 6 so i will write 6 in place of y2 minus sign will be as it is y1 is 9 so i will write 9 on the place of y1 y2 is 6 y1 is 9 and there is a negative sign and x2 is 4 so i will write 4 in place of x2 then i will use this negative sign and the value of x1 is 2 so i will write 2 in place of x1 6 minus 9 is minus 3 and 4 minus 2 is 2 so the gradient of this line is minus 3 upon 2 this was a very easy question and we just have to remember this formula gradient is equals to y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 and I just have to put the values of x2 and y1 remember name the first pair the first coordinate as x1 and y1 and the second coordinate as x2 and y2 x is the first value and y is the second value and just replace them in this formula and find the gradient.